Today's episode is about defense, and in particular, we're going to be talking about my issue with fighters who rely strictly on head movement to deal with those shots coming towards them. And we're going to look at fight footage of Cruz versus Vera, which just happened this past weekend, and this is a fantastic example of what can happen if you go your whole career and you don't get good at blocking with your hands, it's all head movement, eventually you're going to get KO'd. First, I want it to be known, I want it to be said, that I think Cruz is a fantastic fighter. Do I love his style? No, but I don't have to love his style to recognize that anybody who's a UFC champion that had a two-year layoff due to injury and then came back and is being in title contention, you know, he's still in that discussion, maybe not now after this loss, but still an amazing fighter. No doubt. But I like to look at fighters sometimes and explain to my subscribers why maybe this is not the style for you or if it is your style, well, you still want to go about developing some good defense with your hands. Now, Dominic Cruz has always been very explosive on his forwards movement. He rushes almost and then he's very good with his feet. Very good at moving around making his head mobile, and that is fantastic because the truth of it is, if somebody throws a shot at you, the best thing to do is just step back. Why would you not want to do that? Shots miss. The next best thing, as Cruz does, and many fighters will do, is utilize head movement. Things are missing. That's best. But then there's more my style where we block. The thing about blocking shots is, yes, you might absorb a little bit more damage, but overall, I feel much safer and confident that no shot is going to slip in and KO me completely as opposed to throwing the head around where you accidentally lean into a kick and all of a sudden it hits you with that much more force. In here, I feel safe. I feel confident that I can come out of the fight without getting that knockout against me. Head around, who's to say? I blink at the wrong second and the kick lands and my hand, which should have been here, is down here. When I drop, ah, it's a big issue. But head movement is still something which you should be utilizing. But I want to explain today on the best way to break it down and why to avoid being somebody like Cruz who pretty much never blocks with his hands. Because after a stellar career with lots of fantastic wins and I'm thinking not many KO losses, if any, it's still caught up with him. His style of throwing his head around to evade shots turning sideways and then eventually taking that round kick to the nose, it catches up with you. And you're gonna get clipped a lot in fights because when the hands are down here for one second, not even a second, half a second, you miss a punch, you're gonna get clipped, you're gonna get dropped, and in my opinion, it's unnecessary. And even in this fight versus Vera, where yes, it finishes with a big round kick KO to the nose, but before that, he gets dropped twice as well. And like I said, this is just a quick lapse in defense. If you're somebody like Floyd Mayweather and you see Floyd and you have that almost perfect, perfect ability to slip shots, but you can still guard up when necessary, to me, that is almost the perfect defense. If Dominic Cruz had that ability to move his head, utilize his footwork, and then when needed, get his hands up, and block shots, that would be so good. But to almost never utilize the hands up and block shots off the gloves, in my opinion, big mistake. You still want to drill this. In Cruz's opponent, we see Vera, as Cruz rushes forward with those punches, we see Vera utilize very nice tight blocking, just letting all those wild shots come off the gloves. When somebody is very quick and they're fast and then get shots up with that lightning speed, Trying to slip everything or move your feet is very difficult. It's much easier to just keep those hands high and make minor adjustments. So if you're somebody who's new to defense, absolutely keep in mind that you should be putting your focus not on head movement, but a good solid guard. That will take you a long way. There are many fighters who can survive their whole career without implementing massive head work. But, in my opinion, the fighters who rely strictly on head movement eventually get KO'd, 
and I'm just not a big fan of people getting knocked out. I don't love it in the sport. I know it's part of the fight game, but still it makes me cringe a little every time. It's something I'm hoping to avoid in my career. 45 plus fights so far, and I've never been KO'd. I have been knocked down. I can't say that that hasn't happened. I have made mistakes. And it's usually just because I do a little blink and then all of a sudden it's like, oh man, I just, at the exact wrong time I blinked. I didn't see the shot coming. I didn't react. But I think that's four, four knockdowns in 20 years. I mean, come on, that's pretty darn good. And I got up from all of them. No problems, no headaches after, keeping the brain intact. If you guys want to focus on keeping yourself safe, get that guard up. And then absolutely throw some head movement in in the right moments. I've done that in my fights as well. And even more importantly, utilize that footwork. Piece it all together. But I hope this episode helped just clear up my thoughts on utilizing pretty much solely head movement and why you might not want to do it yourself and why it's more important to get that guard up and protect yourself. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a like. If you have not already, join the channel and get subscribed. As always, guys, train hard, stay safe, and I will see you back here soon for another video.